Hi guys, I'm Captain Ez, and welcome to episode 1 of Surviving with Redstone. So today we're going to be looking at automatic lights and having them in, like, proper lamp stands. So as you can see, these are sort of basic lamp stands that I've got, that I've made myself. They're pretty crap, but anyway, they'll do. So as you can see, they're not on, and when it's night, they won't turn on. Now we could just replace this with some glowstone and have it on all the time, but I really want to have an automatic system. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a day and night sensor to start with. Now what that involves is using the mechanics of um, villagers. Now when it's day, a villager will go inside his house. So when it's night, they'll go inside his house. And during the day, he'll stay out most of the time. So as you can see, we're just going to build a simple house for the villager. Now, what a house has to be for a villager to think it's a house is just a wooden door within a room with a wooden roof. Like so. So this technically counts as a house for a villager. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab a house for him, sorry, a villager, and he's going to live in this house. So during the day he'll stay outside, but at night he should go inside. Well, he will go inside because the way it's programmed. As you can see, he's now standing on that pressure plate in this point here. So if we can just tap into the power, we've now got a day and night sensor. Ah, oh, it's just sundown, that's why he's coming out again. You are going to be difficult with me, aren't you, buddy? I'm just going to push you. There we go. He normally works, he's just being a bit temperamental because it's sunset. So as you can see, during the night, the um, lamp will come on, and when it's day, he'll come out of his house, off the pressure plate, turning it off. So this is a day and night sensor. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a little lamp, or sorry, a little um, day-night lamp that has no visible redstone. So as you can see, we just put the thing here, and then cover it all up. So as you can see, this is a pretty basic day-night sensor with a little light attached to it. It looks kind of nice, but I really want to have them up in the tower. Now, we can't really do that without having redstone attached to it. But with the new layer snapshot, with um, the addition of tripwires, it actually allows us to do it. So what we're going to do is we're going to tap into the line here. Run it away. I'm just going to set it to here. There we go. And we're just going to run it in the same line as this one, right here. Now to get it up to that level, we're just going to have to build up a little bit, so we'll just go back. As you can see, it just came out, the line is now off. And there we go, that should be it, yep, that was pulled up. Now what this system uses is the way that um, tripwires work. So if I just build a tripwire over here, we'll grab the tripwire and the, what do we, we don't need that. So as you can see, if I put the tripwire here, I can activate it if I just put a lamp. Now, another thing that can activate it is actually <coughs> boats. So if I put a boat on it, it will activate. Now, my whole system revolves around how that works. If we put a, a red tripwire hook here, and a line, oh, sorry, one higher, Yep, one higher. Let's try and count my blocks here. There we go. With a tripwire on top of that. And run this all the way along. Break that one. Put a hook there and kick it up. Now as you can see, the piston isn't actually pressing on the um, wine. But if we break that and put a boat on, then kick it up. As you can see, when the villager goes inside, the boat will push up, go into this tripwire, run along the line, and as you can see, turn on the torch. So turn on the lamp. So if I just time... Well, he's already inside, so it doesn't really matter. So as you can see, this is a basic day and night sensor. So you can actually have a pretty much invisible line of redstone current running all the way along to your torches. So you have to have this, this system here, so you can have this one sensor going to heaps and heaps of these little systems. You have to have this tripwire system connected to every single one of your lamps. So it is a bit uh, resource heavy, but it is really handy if you want to have automatic day and night lamps floating in the sky. We'll just set it tonight to have it on. So as you can see, it goes dark, the villager goes inside, and the piston activates, activating this redstone torch. Sorry, lamp. So, 
This system's really cool if you want to have some really nice artistic builds, but you don't want to have redstone running up to torches or having them in the ground. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm Captain Ez, and until next time, have a nice night.